Percy Freeman? Why don't you hit the shower, sir, and get dressed? You're wanted by command. Come with me. Alright, which one of you is going to run up the hill and uh, figure out a way we can get her to uh, help us out? Jesus. Get in the truck, Captain. I'll give you a lift. sir. Captain Percy Freeman, 718th Airborne. Damn, I thought you were dead. Why, it's a pleasure to meet you, Freeman. Have some of this roast moose, imported specially from Canada. This is a picture of Colonel Bob Kurtz. He used to be in command of a small outpost up the Nuang River. There's a conflict in every human heart, Freeman, between the rational and the irrational, good and evil, light and darkness. Good does not always triumph, i.e. Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, and our man in Moscow, Joseph Stalin. Precisely. Recently, the Colonel's methods have become unsound. We've tried to recall him from the field, but it seems he's no longer taken orders from us. Essentially, we've lost contact with him. Fine, Colonel Kurtz, Captain. Take him out, and I don't mean dinner and dancing. I want you to terminate the Colonel's command, Captain. Terminate with extreme prejudice. The route is complicated and dangerous, so we've decided to give you a grunt to help you on your mission. Barney, come on in. This is Barney. I'll be goddamned if I know what his last name is. He ain't the brightest candle on a birthday cake, but he's as strong as a mule. He can get you out of all sorts of sticky situations. You do understand, Captain, that this mission does not exist, nor will it ever exist. This way, Captain. Is everybody okay?
Good afternoon, Captain Freeman. I'm Sergeant Bob Kilmore, Air Cab, 1st of the 9th. My outfit will be taking you as far as the river mouth. Charlie's pretty thick around there, so we'll have to fight our way in. From then on, you'll be on your own. Good luck, Captain Freeman. You're gonna need it. Okay, saddle up, lock and load. Get into the chopper, Freeman. Shall we put on a little light music while we fly? Hello, Randa. You will be my friend. I saw you many times. Over here, Freeman. Don't do it, sir. It's a trap. You idiot, sir. You walked right into it. Shall we try to shoot our way out, or wait and see what they want? Captain Percy Freeman, we meet again. Now the circle is complete. Barney here has told me all about the purpose of your mission. He says you want to take the Colonel away. I had no choice. He said he wouldn't be my friend if I didn't tell him. I hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm afraid I can't allow you to continue, Captain. The Colonel's a great man. I personally admire what he's trying to do. The man can't control him anymore. Sounds like he really pissed them off this time. Hell, I know his methods are a little unorthodox, but he's gonna win this war. You can just go ahead and dispose of them, boys. Holy shit! He's got a grenade! That was a pretty amazing coincidence. Ah! 
I'm gonna make some boots out of that. You can move out, sir. I'll cover you. What the hell kind of animal was that? It looks a bit like a roast turkey. Okay, let's gear up. We're moving out. Okay, sir. Oh, I get to do these things. Roger that, sir. Moving out. Okay, sir, I'll secure this area. Sir? Okay, sir, I'll secure this area. I'm locked and loaded, sir, and I'm right.
right behind you. I'll stand fast and await further orders. There's an army base not far from here, sir. I think we might be able to reach it in this truck. I can hotwire it. Get in the back. Okay, sir. I got your six. Oh, 
Okay, let's gear up. We're moving out. All right, you're that, sir. We're moving out. Sorry, sir. I'm locked and loaded, sir, and I'm right behind you. Oh, I get to do these things. Forget about it.
Roger that, sir. Moving out. Get in the truck, Captain. I'll give you a lift. Looks like we got rid of them. Better lay low for a while. You see those creatures out there? Not a living human to be seen. This whole town's gonna be like that. You want my opinion, sir? This mission is Fubar. And we are up shit creek without a paddle. I miss my mommy. suspicious to me. I say we take our chances. Well, killing him was a bit harsh, but shit happens, I guess. War is hell. Look, sir, he had a key on him. Thanks for this door. than what he said, sir. And this town sounds like a dangerous place. Maybe we better split up. You stay here and guard the truck, and I'll scout out the area. You better make sure that barricade is sound, in case the creatures smell his blood and come looking for you, like you said.
Stay alert for Yankee Peak.
hurt for round eight.
Okay, sir. I've got your six.
Sergeant Kilmore. Captain Freeman, damn it, I thought you were dead. I mean, uh, listen, Captain, a lot of my men got killed in Raccoon Base this morning, and I've changed my mind about Kurt. I want to help you. Give me your position, and I'll air you out of there. Captain Freeman, Kilmore, Thanks, Captain. I'll come and rescue you immediately. <laughs> Thank God you got me out of that hellhole. General Don watched him over the creatures in his big stadium in the center of town, for sure. Everyone watches the cons there. He needs to make an example of someone to discourage the locals from disobeying his regime. Everyone lives in fear of that bastard. Him and the creatures. I thought I'd never get out of this place. But let's get moving. One of my buddies ought to be waiting with a plane in a hidden airfield near here. There's an American outpost further upriver, which is still holding out against the creatures. Boyne Raw Bang Noi Fire Base. We should be able to make it up there and help them out. Come on. Sir, I'm locked and loaded. Right behind you. I'm ready to go. I'm all eyes. Sir? 
Okay, let's gear up. We're moving out. Okay, sir. I got your six. Looks like we're gonna have to dig our way out of here. Roger that, sir. Moving out. Okay, sir. I'll secure this area. Captain Percy Freeman. I thought you were dead. I was told to look out for you. The CO here wants to talk to you. He's got a message for you.
Listen. Can you hear that? Out there on the ground. Over the front of the attack. They attack us in waves. They usually just attack randomly. Now they're coordinated. I think they're burning. Eat this, you motherfucker! Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, boy. Lucky me, huh? I get to stay back and cover your ass. Watch for that, sir. We're moving out. Let's go! Okay, sir. Hold up here. of the purple shit from the dog. fucking relaxing for Colin. Those things just let me stay awake even longer, it seems. I don't think a fellow can let me stay awake for you. I don't wonder, man. There's no clue to some big, quick,
once again flying in the air. Just to be given a life and free. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, boy. Lucky. Roger that, sir. We're moving out. Let's go! This is pure fucking insanity, man. Our own fucking side. These guys are totally clueless. I think they go working for Kurtz. We're in a world of shit. Yes, sir. What can I do for you, sir?
Okay, I'll stand fast and wait for him. get hurt? Our own forces are attacking us. I heard they've been told we've gone renegade. Like, you know who. Okay, sir. I've got your seat.
I can't believe the government would be so cynical as to create a race of mutant psychotic monsters and then exterminate an entire base full of elite special forces simply in order to hold them. Wait a minute, I didn't sign up for this shit. No.
Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you were one of them. There's a whole bunch of us holed up in Hangar B. The station here is a sanctuary for the creatures that are being developed on our street. Anyway, we got radio over there and we contact them to get this thing to work. But it keeps coming up this error message saying I like the intelligence to operate. I'm sure as hell none of those things are going to do that. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. I got your six. Dixie fried on top of that. This is a jubilee, my friend. I cannot believe you are standing here right in front of me now.
morning, sir. There's no CO here, sir. Let's just get the hell out of this place. Okay, sir. Got your six. see you're trying to flee. You're running from this undead enemy. You are here to kill a hero within. Your chances to complete this mission are starting to excel. Fighting the undead seems impossible to run. Your heart's pounding at every corner. Your fears are catching up on you. Life looks much better once before. But 
now you're one step from Hell's Door. is simple, just to kill a man. A man among men, or maybe a myth. You first thought this mission was important to do, to further your career, and the countries too. But as time passes, you see the truth. You begin to ask yourself, is this all a mistake? Am I just a pawn for men to close the door? Do they want to continue this war in their own way? Or maybe Kurtz is doing what they could never do. I ask myself again, should I continue this quest? To kill a hero who is America's best? I ponder this question that is haunting me, as I'm senselessly hunting a god or an enemy. I'm now considering another plan. I could put an end to this heart of evil now. My plan is simple and clear to me. But first, you must find Kurtz, and then I will see.
can move out, sir. I'll cover you. Okay, sir, I'll secure this area. Okay, let's gear up. Moving out. See something move out there? Where'd he go? I could swear I saw someone just crouching in these bushes here. Well, maybe it's just my imagination. Thank <laughs> you. 
you've seen horrors. Horrors that you've seen. You have no right to call me out. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel.
Hi, I'm Gavin Kaczkowski, and this is Ten O'Clock News. Why is Brave Panic in Golden the nation of South Vietnam this morning, amidst reports that a strange and violent infested the countryside? Senior government figures early announced the arrest of an elaborate hoax, but the number of eyewitnesses is growing by the hour. In today's press conference, President Johnson calls the cops. I want to assure y'all that we have the situation completely under control. We're working hand in hand with the government of South Vietnam to prepare a report on the situation and establish the truth. The situation in Vietnam deteriorated further today as troops were ordered to pull out of the providence of Group 9. Every bombing has so far failed to halt the future's back, and the number of civilian casualties can only be guessed at. Yeah, we're under that control. I've been trying to get in contact with people on the ground in Sector 5. We were supposed to be rendezvousing with them in about 15 minutes, but we've been trying to go out to the fly with the meeting towards them, and uh, we were trying to get in there to help these people out. We're trying to get in contact with the CEO, so uh, we're going to have to rise down there. We've got to get back on that control. I repeat, we're trying to get in contact with people on the ground in Sector 5.